Hello everyone, this is my Sang V and I am back with another Cognos Report Studio tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about filters. So let's start. And in our previous video we learned about how to create a query and how to create a list. And this is the same report in which we created our list with three methods. So let me delete the extra content for this video. Uh, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Okay, and I want to delete this. So right click on delete or you press delete key from your keyboard. And I want to delete the entire row. I don't want to delete entire column. So delete entire row. Click on OK. Now we have to add filters. You can use filter to filter your output data so let's say in your database table you have thousand records for column or for employee one and let's say your table contains employer and employer age and you want to know all the employees with age greater than 50 so you can apply a filter on age so age bring all the records where age is greater than 50 we are going to achieve the same in in this by adding filter inside our list so let's start and if you want to add list or uh, if you want to add filter then you have to select your list and then click on this icon and edit filter right now i have no filter available on this so that's why my remove all filter is disabled okay edit filters to add a filter now i want to click on this add add new click on this and I want to apply a filter on closing inventory now what I want I want to list all the products where closing inventory is less than 100 or in other words in my database table I have a product table containing product and product quantity and I want all products existing quantity or product quantity or products available in my stock I want to list down all the products where my products quantity or available quantity is less than 100 for this I am going to use closing inventory column and then click on ok I want a comparison so you can specify which type of operation you want to perform on this filter so let's say if you want a range then you can select a range from or to if you want a comparison then you can select this or you can specify a value if you want to perform a equal if you want to perform an equals operation or if you want to perform in operation okay I am going to select comparison and I want my closing inventory where my closing inventory is less than 100 inside value click on 100 if you want to include null values then you have to check on this checkbox so let's say select this and click on ok click on ok finally your report is uh, your first filter is created congratulations it's time to run our report and see the output right now no data is available so in my stock all the products quantity is greater than 100 now it's time to change the filter condition for this first close this report fever and then go back to your report studio and select your list and then you have to click on edit filters select it, your filter and click on this pencil icon to edit this ok and now I want to change the value to thousand click on ok click on ok and rerun your report now your report is now generated for all the product quantity where quantity is less than 1000 so we got a single record so in my product table I have only one record where my quantity is less than 1000 in the product is inferno product brown is epoch color is orange and it is inside personal accessory and the quantity is 127 okay finally I think you are able to understand how to create a filter now I am going to show you another method 
and before showing to another method what is happening I want to show okay when you create a new filter then your filter is applied on your query and your query is available just here so select query explorer and your q underscore inventory underscore status query and here it is your detail filter now we are going to delete this okay for I'm going to use the report page to delete this select your list and click on filter and remove all filters now no filters are available on your query subject or in your query now I'm going to use this to add a filter for this you have to select any column and then drag and drop here okay and then you have to specify the condition I want all the products where closing inventory is greater than uh, the closing inventory is less than 2000 click on ok to save this okay and then you can change okay now it's time to run our report and finally we got lots of record inside this in our report output we got lots of record with and you can also see the records with 31 and 0 so now you can ask me why I am not able to see all this record when I previously ate filters from my report page what is the difference okay so let me first let me first show you the generated SQL query show generated SQL and MDX and then you have to select the native SQL and can I use IBM Cognos SQL because uh, let's go with native SQL and I want to save this inside notepad and let me quickly ah use IBM SQL ok now it is well structured and here you can see and let me quickly close this go to your query delete this and let me finally go to report page and edit filter new closing inventory ok and I want to change this to 1000 ok run your report and this time you got single record again I want to go back into tools and then show generated SQL MDX I want to IBM Cognos and Windows R Notepad Control V to paste and I hope I have code compare no I don't have it okay so we have to compare this inside notepad so this is my second query and this is my first query and here is the difference in this query your filter is applied on implied in your where clause and in this query your filter is applied on the sum less than 1000 and inside this your filter is applied on where clause now why it is different because when you create a filter using this method the by default when you select this the default behavior is after auto aggregation you have to apply this filter after the auto aggregation now we can check the similar behavior or we can create the similar behavior with second method but first let me delete this and click on ok and let me go to query 
go to query and then simply drag and drop and this time I want 2000 click on OK and you can change the behavior from here after auto, uh, after auto aggregation run your report again and now we got only few records and this time our record is matching with our previous output now the next question is what is the difference between auto after auto aggregation and before auto aggregation this is the homework for you all guys before auto aggregation and after auto aggregation so as a part of this video I covered how to create a filter in our next video we are going to learn about the different types of filter available in Cognos report studio so that's it for this video if you have any doubts just leave it in comment section I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolution and don't forget to click on subscribe and like button and see you guys in next Cognos report studio tutorial video